I'm going to show you how to use Badukun or Body Chan properly to create references for your next masterpiece. In addition to that, I'll be sharing some basic composition tips that will help you make your artworks look more epic. So feel free to take some notes and let's go do this. This method I'll be showing you will also work on mannequins like this. It's just that someone had gifted me this when we had our family trip to Japan. So thanks to them for this wonderful gift. Anyway, I actually haven't opened this. So let's see what's inside the box. I'm not really sure how many variations this doll has but this one has a lot of sports stuff in it. You can see here there's a baseball and a bat, tennis racket, basketball, and soccer ball. There are a couple of hand variations as well. It's quite fancy I have to say. What amazes me is how bendy it is especially in the abdomen. You can make them do sit-ups no problem. Anyway, let's make a reference using this. First of all, we're gonna pose the doll based on what we want to draw. I'm thinking that I want them to do some parkour like they're vaulting over something. So give me a sec as I pose this doll as I want to draw it. Alright, so let's pretend that this casing is like a wall that they're vaulting over. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. When I'm drawing an action pose, I usually like to draw them in the middle of the action rather than the start or the end of the action. I think it looks dynamic that way. So for this example, they are vaulting over a wall, so I made the doll pose in the middle of the vault. The next thing we need is a camera since we're gonna take a photo of the doll. You can just stare at it if you're fine with that, but taking a photo will give you a consistent reference even if you change the doll's pose for another drawing. If you only have a phone with a camera, it's absolutely fine to use that. Using a mirrorless or DSLR camera will give you flexibility, especially if you have a collection of lenses. But it's not essential. Basically, if you're taking photo references of the doll, frame it like how you want them to draw in your artwork. So for example, if you want to draw the pose like in this angle, then don't take the photo in this angle. It's just gonna add confusion. This technique is something I learned from watching filmmaking tutorials. So when we look at the camera screen, there is usually a 3x3 grid display. If it's not there, you can simply turn it on in the settings. Now you might think it's just getting in the way of your shot, but it's actually helpful in framing and composition. Let me know in the comments below if you're familiar with the law of thirds. If not, then I will try my best to explain it properly. The rule of thirds states that if you put your photo on the left third or the right third of the photo, it creates a more interesting photo than when you put the subject in the center frame. The grid helps you determine where these thirds usually are. Usually, when you put your subjects or focal point in these parts of the grid where the line intersects, that is more ideal for a better photo. I have two photos of the same subject here. A is center frame and B is rule of thirds. Let me know in the comments which photo is better. So for this pose, say I want the feet closer to the camera and I would like the face to be the focal point. So I will put the face in like the intersecting lines of the grid. It's a bit challenging to draw this way but it's a more interesting angle than this. Okay, let's take a photo. I suggest taking multiple photos and pick one that is your favorite. Now that we have our photo, let's transfer it to the PC and let's get drawing. Let's open up the reference. You can trace it if you like. I don't really encourage it. I just think that you can't improve your skills that way. What I usually do is open the photo and look at it as I draw. I never hide or close the reference as long as I am drawing. It's always within my peripheral vision so I can immediately check it for mistakes. Anyway, if you've watched my videos, you know the drill by now. Now, but if you haven't, I actually had discussed how to draw the male body using basic shapes without the need of learning anatomy. So if you're interested, feel free to click the eye icon on the top of your screen. We're gonna draw the stickman first so we can nail the pose. Then we draw the basic shapes of the body and once we've done that, we're gonna draw the basic shapes of the clothes. Make sure to pay attention to the volume and movement of the character and draw the clothes accordingly. Alright, let's add in the details and the finishing touches. By the way, let me know in the comments if you have any particular pose that you are struggling to draw. I'm thinking about playing around with this body cone more. You know, maybe create a reference sheet, something like that. Anyway, if you notice, we did some foreshortening in this drawing. I know it can be quite a struggle to draw, so if you like some tips and tricks to improve your foreshortening, feel free to click this video on the right. 